multinational movement. We coming together, united by one purpose. That we subscribe to the Lordship of Jesus and we also love his kingdom. So if that's you, then you are in the right place. I can feel some of you are still trying to feel, am I in the right place? What's going on here? Who is who? We just here united by one agenda and one purpose. We just love Jesus. We subscribe to his lordship exclusively and we love his kingdom. Ask your neighbor, is that you? Yeah, yeah, ask your neighbor for me and say, is that you? So, so, so we uniting together so that we can echo this message that God has a purpose for each and every one of us. God has a purpose for our families. He has a purpose for our ministries. He has a purpose for our companies. And he has an agenda with your professional career. God is calling us to serve him by all that we are and everything that we have. So this movement and this platform seeks to create a space where we can have intentional and deliberate conversations on how we can grow in our awareness of God's purpose for our lives. Thereafter, we return back to the fellowships where we are accountable to. As charged up people, inspired people, encouraged people to be able to get value to the ministries and the local churches where God has called us to serve. I hope I'm still with you up until now. Praise the name of Jesus. So we're contending for revival and awakening of purpose and awakening of the agenda of God in our lives. Is one power pillar. And secondly, we are also contending for the influence of God in the marketplace. That one get my blood start pumping good. Praise the name of Jesus. Consider this, if you attend church twice a week, an average of two hours, of which many of us Two services a week is allowed. But let's say two. We're generous. Two services a week, two hours. That's about 7% of, of your weekly time. That you are within the four walls of the church. Over 93% nine, of your weekly time, you are outside the four walls of the church. And more likely than not, you are in the marketplace. Either by contract or by convenience. But when you look at our discipleship models, most of them are designed in such a way that we are taught and trained to serve God within the four walls of the church. In other words, we are trained to serve God in the place where we are less than 7% of our weekly time. And to me, that's, that's poor stewardship of who we are in our giftings and our talents as much as serving God is concerned. So the purpose of this space and this movement is to empower the believer to be effective in serving God, not only within the four walls of the church, but even outside the church. In the church, packed up church, 1,000 members, one preacher ministering. Once a Sunday. How about we flip the script? Where we say, fine with Sunday, Pastor, equip us. Apostle, equip us. But Monday to Saturday, it's our days of ministry. And it's not one person doing ministry. It's the 1,000 members equipped and trained, relevantly engaging in the marketplace to bring the harvest in the marketplace to the local church on Sunday. Praise the name of Jesus. It's not like we don't want to serve God in this manner. But some of us, we just don't know how. And not all of us are called into frontline ministry uh, to minister in the church like Pastor Sudir. But we are called in our sphere of influence to bring the influence of the kingdom of God. Scripture says we are the salt of the earth, right? Somebody say, I'm the salt of the earth. I love that song. I'm the salt of the earth I'm the salt of the earth I carry the flavor of God I seize in the air Can you testify? One minute I'm the soul of the earth I'm the soul of the earth I carry the flavor of God I seize in the air 
desires us to give him our lives. All right? But where a main stranger is, there is that will be also. But listen to this. I think the church has done a good job in teaching us to give. But I think we have not yet done a good job in training us how to create what to give. I hope you got me right there. Every Sunday you are taught why you should give, what you should give, how you should give. But when was the last time you were ever taught how to generate and to create what to give? And the purpose of this movement is to balance that. We are saying before and even as we continue to encourage you to give, we want to be very intentional about equipping you, empowering you, bring you into spaces and conversations where we can be able to co-create value, hear ideas practically that can change our lives. Church is an amazing place. I love it. That's why I've hung my life on it. But many times I've discovered we come to church, we pray, we hear the word, and we don't even know each other. We don't even know what the other person does. Some of the things we are praying for, the person next to you in the same room, that is what they are looking for. But we don't have places of intentional networking where we can know what the other believer is doing. We continue to pray for things that we are not supposed to pray for. This is one of the reasons why unbelievers are walking into things without praying that we are daily praying for and not receiving. Have you ever asked the question, why is it that the wicked seem to prosper? David asked that question. It's, it's as odd as David sound. But I will tell you one answer why the wicked prosper. They have intentional spaces of valuable networking where they meet not just to sing songs but to have intentional life changing meaningful conversations how are you making it how are you building it how can I take what I have to where I want it to go I believe it's about time church starts to have such conversations and my prayer and my dream and my desire is for every congregation to have spaces and times where these conversations are intentionally being held so that our people are empowered and our people are equipped. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm done for tonight. We'll share more as we go. But I believe that the devil is not ready for what's about to hit him. You are the next one that that's about to happen in your world. Praise the name of Jesus. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, um, I want to introduce to us um, 